I can deliver the experience and leadership that Toronto needs. I have the energy, the passion, and record of accomplishment to lead this city in a new direction with confidence. News that matters to you and conversations to help you understand what it means. The Live Drive with John Tory on News Talk 1010. So we replayed that part so you wouldn't have to say it again here, but you can if you want. <laughs> George? Well, I've had a, uh, I've had a really exceptional uh, Toronto kind of a day, and I'm... Uh, privileged to uh, have been in public life and for the opportunities that are available to transition and to uh, seek uh, the mayor's chair in Toronto and it's been uh, it's been a really fun day. All right so I want to ask you a couple of questions and then I've said to the listeners I want them to send in they've sent some emails and they've sent some text messages and they'll phone if they want at 416-872-1010 uh, and they can uh, conduct as much of this interview as me so that uh, they're doing it uh, and not me just so that you and others won't uh, comment but I want to ask you this question first. I sat across the legislature from you in a, in a bygone day, and we had lots of uh, disagreements, but I think we all understood the challenges and how big they are uh, that are existing in the provincial domain these days. I ran into a woman on the way into this building today, and she asked me this. She said, how can George Smitherman leave his team captain, who you've said a lot of good things about in terms of your relationship with him and so on, at a time of absolutely unprecedented financial and economic challenge facing Ontario, um, you're decamping to go somewhere else? Well, uh, first and foremost, I want to say thanks for giving me a chance to be on the show, John. And I, as a as a, someone who did face you in the legislature, I always appreciated on those occasions when you said if there was one guy that you had to choose from the Liberal government to be part of a government that you might form, that I would be it. And I hold you in uh, I hold you in high regard too. And that's why I was delighted to have a chance today. Well, uh, the city likewise faces extraordinary uh, challenges, and I think that uh, in the current uh, realm, where too many Torontonians identify a sense of malaise that as good as our city is, as great as it is, as much as we love it, that it's just falling somewhat short of its potential. I've had uh, experience, and I have a lot of energy and passion and drive that I think can help me, uh, help uh, allow me to uh, help uh, move our city forward. In, in so doing, it helps the province to accomplish goals as well, and obviously official and uh, city governments have to work together to uh, make uh, better communities for everybody. All right, now, um, you uh, made mention of the word transformational in the context of your, uh, your desired leadership of the city. When you talk about transformational, what's the one big idea or the one thing more than anything else that you'd want to do that's transformational for Toronto? Well, I think uh, the, the record that I, 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 to use the word transformational is to, is, uh, to uh, force me to make the point that in a few places, uh, particularly in healthcare as an example, where the work that I did with Premier McGinty delivered doctors to more than 600,000 additional people, that was transformational. And the Green Energy Act, which is coming to life in the province of Ontario, will... Uh, I'm sure emerge to be transformational uh, as well. I think that uh, the, the, the real point is the one that I made before, which is about the necessity to have a level of leadership and a determination associated with it that helps Toronto to live up to its potential. Right now there's this source or this sense of unrealized uh, potential. And I think that, uh, uh, I think that uh, this is uh, really at the essence of uh, why I'm running. And I look forward so much to the prospects over the next several months to uh, develop uh, in association with people from across Toronto a plan for our city that can build the broadest possible consensus and the broadest possible coalition towards its implementation. I think in a word which you asked for, I think jobs. I think that uh, a mayor is an economic developer at heart. Our people are hurting and Toronto has not been producing jobs. As much as its population has been growing, we're not producing jobs here and I think that that's going to be a uh, particularly right. important focus. We've got to go and check traffic in a second, but we just have a question here and it may be one that you can or cannot answer with yes or no, but uh, somebody writes here on the text message, do we need a Toronto sales tax? Well, I, I think that uh, to, say, uh, to say a word, I think that for now... Uh, the word must be a no. Toronto City Council must find a way to operate within available resources because the taxpayers in Toronto are uh, really, I think, uh, uh, up to their eyeballs in, uh, in taxes. I don't think the resolution to the fiscal challenges that we face, I don't think new taxes should be the starting point for that conversation. Okay, it won't come as any surprise. The biggest written about topic that I got emails on today was about e-health. And when we come back... I Here's one from the 647, uh, phone from the 647. When did George Smithman realize he'd like to be mayor of Toronto, and what would it mean to him on a personal level? Well, I used to express, uh, R Rob Benzio was talking to this, uh, to him, he remembers me from back in the day, and for a long, long time I used to say that being the mayor of Toronto was my dream job, and then Premier McGinty gave me opportunities that uh, really... Uh, 
uh, were so satisfying and extraordinary. But uh, I'm a I'm a I'm a son of Toronto, uh, born in uh, Weston and uh, raised in Etobicoke, and with a good presence downtown. And uh, the time that I worked with Barbara Hall at City Hall and all of these things really lend uh, shape to the desire. Uh, to play that role and to give leadership to this fantastic city. All right, now I probably had about 10 emails that said something like this.